with Deacon One. Today, I have another Deacon to Phil Talk video for you guys, episode 10, which is crazy. So, we have a couple things of NFL news. Once again, for the USFL, we have a bonus board, USFL. For the last time for a while, it's going to be USFL. Maybe we can get, like, NBA free agency and coming up like that. But, yeah, we have over 100 bets for the USFL and, like, two things of free agency, which, yeah, last time we had one. Like, free agency is dying down in the NFL. But, yeah, let's get to the sneak peek. Why does Super Terry McLaurin agrees to extend his contract for three years worth up to $70 million? As Hero's coach on playing his first season without Ben Roethlisberger quotes, it's scary but very exciting. And will Deshaun Watson get suspended? And Tom Brady, which this is pretty old, Tom Brady announces he's staying with Tampa. And yeah, two two things for the agency. Bonus sport of the USFL for, for the last time for a while. Uh, so yeah, we have the USFL championship over under bet. There's just one over under bet. But then I'm doing a player over under bet. So like, like it's a Stallions guy because I don't know anyone on the Philadelphia Stars. But yeah, let's get to this episode 10. What we made it to double digits now. But it all starts next on Deacons NFL Talk. Okay guys, so let's get right through this NFL news. So, we have number one, wide receiver Terry McLaurin agrees to a three-year extension worth up to $70 million with the Washington Commanders. That's huge for you guys. The Washington Commanders, he, like, Terry McLaurin is a wide receiver unlike anyone's ever seen. He's very talented. I mean, I, I, really, I really enjoy watching him, number 17. He's insane. He deserves that $70 million. And I just, he just is a really fun guy to watch and play. So he's very fun to watch, yeah. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad he got his money. And then former defensive back Akid Taleb, I'm pretty sure, joins Amazon's Thursday night football broadcast. So it's going to be an Amazon, not like just Thursday night. So, yeah, I, f I have a card or a sticker. No, I have a card of him. I, yeah, I have a card of Akid Taleb. I think it's his name. And then another one, linebacker Luke Kuchley, um joins Panthers radio broadcast team for 2022. So, yeah, another broadcast, like a joint broadcast, whatever, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, he's, he's a really good linebacker. He's fun to watch. I have a card of him, actually, too. And then Bears linebacker Matt Adams has been arrested. So, I've never heard of him before, but I didn't really see what, it, what he was arrested for, but... I don't know what it was, so yeah, kind of like the Henry Rugg saying, like I'm pretty sure he's done, like for the for his career, but that's what I heard, or maybe I'm not sure yet. We need to get some more things on Colin Kaepernick. I think I haven't been hearing much. Maybe he's on the Raiders already. And Steelers coach Mike Tomlin on playing his first season without Ben Roethlisberger quotes, "It's scary but exciting." Like Ben Roethlisberger, he's a legendary quarterback. I mean. He's probably going to be in the – I don't know if he already is in the Hall of Fame, but he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. He's an insane quarterback. And now we're being replaced by a young guy like Kenny Pickett. It was really nice. I mean, Kenny Pickett, he's going to be a, he's going to be a star. I can see potential in him with the Steelers. But, yeah, great pick by the um, Steelers right there. But, yeah, um, Kenny Pickett, really good pick. But Ben Roethlisberger's done. I mean, I, wait, I don't know if he's done, but, yeah. And then will Deshaun Watson get suspended? That's that's like it's been going back and forth. Like one day it says a couple years, one day it says a season, one day it says right now I'm hearing six to eight games. So what is what are they doing? A, is, it, is it a couple years, like a a season, or is it six to eight games? To be fair, I have to say six to eight games. Is Baker Mayfield though going to come back to the Cleveland Browns? If he goes six 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 to eight year ex or six to eight game ex suspension, or like maybe just like a season suspension, a uh, few years suspension, is it, is the question is is he gonna come back? Cause he did that that shoulder that was injured. I don't know if he got surgery on it yet. Cause like he was dealing with it and like he didn't even get surgery on it. But if he wants to be that guy, he wants to be the the quarterback of the Cleveland Browns of any other team. He needs to get that fixed. I mean, I don't know if it is already. But if he doesn't go back to Cleveland Browns, there's a chance he might go to the Panthers or the Seahawks. The Seahawks, I think, is his best fit. Because I feel like a wide receiver from the Panthers said no to Baker Mayfield. Which, that doesn't give a good sign. 
to Seattle. It's looking good. I mean, if you really want this guy, Baker Mayfield in green and dark blue, like like a limeish green and dark blue. I mean, go ahead, take him. I think it's pretty good Baker Mayfield for the Seahawks. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. And I will give. Oh, here here's a clip to this. Um, this is like what three months ago or something like that. It's been a while. But there was an ad, like a Hertz ad or something like that, and it's it's like an uh, electrical, like an uh, electrical car company, and it says Tom Brady announces he's staying with Tampa. It kind of makes sense with the ad. So yeah, here's here's the clip of you can clearly tell that he's staying with Tampa, but yeah, here's here's the ad, the Hertz ad. So yeah, hope, yeah. I don't, I mean, um, it's kind of crazy. I mean, everyone's saying he's going to Miami. But in the ad, he says, I'm not leaving. So it's kind of it's kind of clear that he's staying with Tampa. But here is a video. And action. EV or Shelby? Ooh. Cut, cut. All right, look, bring it in. So you've been working at the same job for like 22 years, right? You're just not feeling it anymore. So you retired, and that's when it hit you. Maybe all you needed was a vacation. Let's go. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Okay, so I don't know for sure if he's actually staying with Tampa, but it kind of makes sense that he's staying with Tampa. But I forgot to get in the free agency, so let's see what it is. There's only two things of it, so. Punter Bradley Pinion to the Falcons and linebacker Kaiser Kaiser White to the Eagles. So that's all. We're done with the NFL news, so. So for the bonus sport, USFL Championship, which is going to be crazy tomorrow. I can't wait for it. And, yeah, I have a, two over-under bets. Obviously, the USF Championship, like, over whatever, under this. And then I have a player prediction for the first time. So, yeah, let's get to the bonus sport. Okay, guys, for episode 10, we're here for the bonus sport. Um, so, yeah, um, I actually have my phone with me just in case some random NFL news pops up. I forgot to do that, but... So my over over under bet for the USF championship between the nine and one Stallions against like the six and four Philadelphia Stars. I have the Stallions winning the championship over thirty five total points. My overall record is seventeen and seven. Um, I don't have the record this week or total streak or just a like total streak or like a, just normal streak because the championship's tomorrow, and that's it's gonna be crazy. And then here's the play player um, bet. So I have quarterback for the Birmingham Stallions, Jamar Smith, over two touchdown passes. So I hope that goes good. If if that if that goes completely wrong, then I hope we get the Stallions over 35, right? Oh yeah, and I have a score prediction too. 31-24. That's my score prediction, but we're not counting that as an over-under bet. Because that's just my score prediction. But yeah. I think it's going to be a good game. It's going to be interest, interesting to see. Like, what is it? It's not Luis Perez, I don't think. No, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, But, yeah, let's see if there's any NFL news. Sorry if, like, you hear drums downstairs because Porter is playing the drums down there. So let's go see if there's any random NFL news that just pops out of nowhere. Um, not a whole lot. Mm. Riley Reef, latest news. Not much, so they don't give, like... A whole bunch, like, um, like news. They just give like they just make you click on it, but I can't open links. Um, um, C J Stroud, Ohio State quarterback, two hundred two hundred thousand dollars. Um, something something. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Breaking news: Deshaun Watson hearing starts today. I have no idea. Uh, I don't see a whole lot. I mean, there's not a whole lot of, like, news, to be honest. Um, no. I don't see a whole lot, honestly. But, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything at all. But, guys, you know what it is here? Fantasy football. I mean, who, like, who doesn't play this? NFL fantasy is the one I play, so. Um, so, before we go, I'm going to just tell you guys my fantasy team. Real quick, and rate it 1 of 10. I think it's pretty solid. I'm trying to get Jamar Chase right now. It's really hard to. But, yeah, so the season, I what, starts September? So, so the season starts in, like, September or something like that. 
And yes, we are going to a Bengals preseason game this year. This year, which is going to be exciting. So I am. I, do you think this is? Do you think this is fair? Sammy Watkins for Devonte Smith. I mean, I think it's decent, fair-ish. Not really though. But here's my team. So I have quarterback Joe Burrow, running back Josh Jacobs, running back Devin Singletary, wide receiver Randall Cobb, wide receiver AJ Brown, wide receiver Hunter Renfro, tight end Mike Isecki, wide receiver slash tight end Tyler Boyd. Like you can put a wide receiver or tight end there, like the flex spot. Defense Bengals and defensive back Trayvon Diggs. I guess there's like DBs now, so we don't have a kicker, I guess, in this league. And here's my bench. I was really happy I got both of them. I was really happy I got Joe Burrow and bench quarterback Tom Brady. I mean, I'm trying to get Jamar Chase, so I have Mitchell Trubisky, like, to trade for someone good. A.J. Green, because Porter wanted me to get him. Sammy Watkins, Dawson Knox, C.J. Uzama, and the Buccaneers defense. I need another backup defensive back. But, guys, rate that team out of 10, and I guess there's top free agents. So, let me know. Um, Leave a comment if the comments are open. Should I get Jamison Winston, Curtis Samuel, Tyler Higby, A.J. Dillon, Browns defense, or Logan Ryan to add on to the squad? Um, maybe. I mean, my squad is full. I'm trying to trade for Jamar Chase. So what I'm doing is, like, I'm going, like, a player to a player so I better get better player every time. So right now, I'm trading Sammy Watkins for Devontae Smith. But, yeah, rate my team 1 out of 10 for this year. I'm definitely going to upgrade it, like, go in free agency and sign some um, guys in there. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the Kensville talk. Really short one, to be honest. Like, what is it? Like, 10, 11, 12 minutes? But, yeah. Thank you guys for joining the premiere. And, yeah. So, I hope, like, at least some of you joined. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, we can have one next Saturday. I, guess, I bet we will. Maybe. It should work out. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please, like, subscribe. And before we go, I always forget... Steps to join the DNN squad. Number one, subscribe. Number two, like our videos. And number three, put in your user slash roleplay name in Madden21 or Roblox. Dot me, Roblox, whatever. DNN squad. And then you are officially a member of the DNN squad. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Bye. See you guys in Deacon Nora. And see you later, DNN squad. Till our next video.